I want to use the two minute star finder to demonstrate local mean time and then what's really important Greenwich mean time. Anytime you work with the celestial sphere, you have to understand local mean time and Greenwich mean time, mainly Greenwich mean time. All the time you see on this outer rim of the two minute star finder is in Greenwich mean time. But we have to use our own clock too uh, because we want the sun high in our sky uh, when 12 o'clock comes. Now if you notice below we have Greenwich as far as our longitude. We're at zero longitude at this time. So this means everything is local for Greenwich, England. Certainly not for us, but for Greenwich, England. But how do we convert times? If we look at our clock, we're not looking at Greenwich, England clock unless we're there. So let's learn how to convert between our clock on our shelf or, or our wristwatch and come up with a Greenwich Mean Time because Greenwich Mean Time is all you see on this disk. You have to use it. So let's go through the process of using Greenwich Mean Time in our time. Now right now you can see 12 o'clock at Greenwich. But we're not at Greenwich. We're somewhere else. So we have to convert our local clock, local mean time, to Greenwich mean time. So let's say that we're at 71 degrees west longitude. Now looking at this disk, I want to explain what you're looking at. You're really looking at the northern hemisphere in which 12 o'clock and zero is a splitting line between the two hemispheres, the western hemisphere to the left and the eastern hemisphere to our right. You can see times all the way around. Now, there are 360 degrees here, and they're divided by 24 time zones. So this means that each time zone seven and a half degrees. Now I just moved us, the 180 on the horizon disk, to 71 west. If you can see the 17 there, this will solve our problem as far as looking at our local clock and knowing what to do with it to get Greenwich, England. If you look at 17 and look at Greenwich at 12, you can see that the sun will tra travel five hours to go from 12 to 17. So this means what we call zone description is a plus 5. So this means that if we look at our local clock and we want to change it to Greenwich Mean Time, we have to add 5 hours. So let's look at our clock. It says 10 a.m. Then we add five hours. 
This gives us the time at Greenwich. Five, ten, is thirteen hundred. So now we know what time it is at Greenwich, England. So any time we look at the base plate and read off a time, the difference between that time and 12 o'clock is the zone description. Now the same thing applies if we're in the Western Hemisphere. So if we look at the Western Hemisphere, it's always a minus. Excuse me, the Eastern Hemisphere is always a minus. So if we have the difference between 9 and 12, it's a minus 3 to get their time at Eastern Hemisphere. Now, if we have the local time, we ha always have to reverse the sign. So, in the Western Hemisphere again, if it's 10 o'clock at our clock, then we have to add 5. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1500. But let's look at it this way too. If we look at any of these figures here while we're pointing our 180 to 71 close to 17, then we have to take and reverse the sign to get the local time. So that's really the difference between local and Greenwich Mean Time, an easy conversion. Thank you.